we have some dairy cows here. They came from the Piedmont Research Station down in Rowan County. So they've been up here for several weeks, enjoying the cool temperatures to get them, get them reproductively active again. And, and they were set up to be bred today at 11 o'clock. And Lori is the livestock supervisor here at the station. And one of her talents is breeding cattle. So that's another reason a lot of those animals come up here. We, uh, we breed for beef and dairy. And um, one of the research stations has a dairy. And we, we get their animals here in the summertime to graze our grass. And then we use them also um, in a breeding. Um, reason. We do different research here, breeding, but it's cooler here on the mountain. So um, in the summer times off the mountain, it's too hot to bring them in the heat. They just won't cycle. So we bring them up here and they cycle. And so it's easier for us, and then that way they're, they're getting their, um, their cattle year-round. They've got the same amount of cows okay. coming in all the time, coming fresh. And if you want to see this process, you can see it. And the reason that we try to artificially inseminate instead of breeding just with a bull is because we can we can pick a bull that maybe suits a, a certain cow, um, maybe her uh, weaknesses, maybe she needs more frame or more muscle or more milk, um, milking properties, and we can, we can breed that into her with a certain bull. Um, so we try to, uh, we can be genetically superior in selection on our bulls and we can have a really, really good herd. But she was in heat. Um, we use a, um, a, a seven day cedar synchronization um, that a time day eye that will bring all of the heifers in to heat at one time. And, uh, and so we bring it, you know, we can tell um, if they're in heat or not really, really easily. Another way an indicator is, is we use these stickers, these robot stickers right here, and that will show activity on them. And, uh, and we can tell whether they're um, in heat that way. Now we don't, we don't calve anything on the station here. Those animals will go back, you know, to another research station or back to the dairy unit and go back on the milk schedule or wherever they're supposed to be.